What's going on? Tech Down Get here, playing some more Mono Green Tron, and we've got the opening die roll. Let's see that opening hand. That's going to be a quick mulligan, because we need... All right, we got a power plant, but can we get a power plant plus a tower plus an expedition map? Uh, nope, that looks fairly identical to that first hand. We're going to keep going. All right, well, we'll keep here. I don't like it, but... like this. Start working towards something at the very least. Godless Shrine, interesting. Aether Vial, gonna be a creature deck. Gotta have an O-Stone Tower off the top. Oh, and they have that human in particular. Tower off the top. Oh, right, I'll take it. We're actually in a fairly good spot here with that. Profane Tutor, interesting. Draw Tower? Tower. Can't play the O stone at this point. Try and shut down that Aether Veil. Stone Forge Mystic, rubbing a Caldra. That's actually a little annoying. All right, let's grab ourselves an ensnaring bridge. Taking this one hit with a Caldra. Okay, yep. Is that at me. Oh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and blow it now. This survives. But we do clear the rest of their board state. And we can handle the 5-5 next turn. But they do get the perfect card. Yep. Interesting to see this run in modern. I want to say we're favored here. A weird build. It's got the uh, Kaltra Stoneforge Mystic combo in here, but also feels a lot like a creature build. See if they try and take us off Tron. If they do, we're going for the ensnaring bridge. Artifact destruction is a good possibility. We do get rid of Caldra. And destruction is also a possibility. Don't know what they got yet. They're holding up. And they don't have anything to deal with that. All right. Yeah, we can outvalue decks like this pretty easily, usually. We just have to be able to survive the initial wave. But that was not a uh, stellar keep to begin with, and we managed to get there. Uh, that expedition map was very timely, though. What do we want? We already have the dismembers, which are nice. Warping Whale over Relic feels correct. Possibly a nature's claim because they do run some artifacts, but I don't think they do it because couch is indestructible. Aether vial, give other things. That's uh, gonna be a mulligan. More land. Can't do it. Gonna have to do it. Um, the lands and the dismiss. Get a power plant off the top. No, but if we do get turn four, that'll be a very good play. Ah, they went for the early Stoneforge Mystic. Power plant? Not a power plant, but I'll take it. Yep. 
shut down their turn three play. That one's a little rough. But that was a good draw. Dugan is two turns away right now. Uh, we really want to draw a worm coil engine. Luckily, that one stalls them like it stalls us. Spell per turn. That's a little bit more of an issue. Just a two drop. Oh, they saw it. Oh, well, they're holding a lot back. We actually don't blow it here. We'd rather take the two damage and then not give them the opportunity to play a second one. Be able to play Caldra next turn. Actually, We're using that limitation to our advantage here. We'll go ahead and take a land. Be 
We don't want them swinging in for five. We could have played the Ugin and cleared the board, but I'd rather take the two here than risk the five, even if we're still limited to one per turn. We, we get Ugin next turn. And likely there's, we're going to prevent the damage because they're not going to let the Karn stick around. Here we get the Ulamog. Go get another basic. We'll take a cart out of their hand. Emirate, interesting. Now they do have to have the land in hand, which will question. Uh, so what do they have left in? Caldro will go to one. There's how they get the land. But I think we recover from that. Plus, they may choose to go after a planeswalker rather than leave those on the battlefield. Those can be quite disruptive. Hard cast the Caldra. And it comes down to what they think the target is. What's the greatest threat? All right, we'll remove the Ugin. Target the Caldra because they can't blink that. Play the land. Run out the big boy. Take him off of color. Honestly, I think the worst, uh, I was more, more worried they were going to swing into me. Uh, one life, a lot harder to defend than six life, but I think either way we've started to recover. They probably don't have another haster just based on the colors they have right now. All right, they grabbed 
They fail to find? Fails to find. Okay. Interesting. I'll take that last card out of their hand. See where it was. Ah, they had the batter skull in hand. Yep. And they're going to scoop to the Ancient Stirrings. Well, it wouldn't have been a very good Ancient Stirrings. You probably would have taken the Chromatic out that, dug one deeper, and gotten a Boseju, which also wasn't going to be doing anything. We don't swing there because they're pretty close to killing us. So three, yeah, we would have been on blockers. But, interesting game. Interesting deck. Uh, not the kind of combination you usually see. Uh, no sword, so it wasn't really even a stone blade deck. Um, but definitely an Abzan build. Interesting, though. You don't see a lot of those. So fun when they do come up. They had a lot of the hate cards for Tron, too. Luckily, we just happened to have the removal when we had it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Tech Time Gets here, signing out.